Hello world and welcome to another episode of Bet You Did Not Know, where I will show you tips, tricks, glitches, and simple random facts so I feel better about myself. Hopefully you find the information here useful, but if you knew all of them already, here's a trophy for me. Number 1. Magic for Scale Congratulations, you have defeated the dragon, and among the spoils is a dragon scale or two, depending on how valiantly you fought the beast. The scale can be used to make several valuables, be it chest, armor, furnace, or flooring. But with only two scale at maximum, your options are limited. Unless you have your hand on magic, which I call best type of logic. With single scale, you can craft up to six floorings, and with green staff, up to five of these floorings can be disassembled, each yielding a dragon scale of its own. With a decent supply of green gem, you can produce as many dragon scales as you wish. Number 2. Roast Bird you may run into dire situation where a bird in your hand is only food you have. However, the Lady Luck can be cruel mistress, and the bird when slaughtered can reduce to nothing but beautiful feather that will not satisfy your hunger in either way. To avoid such circumstance, directly cook it over fire and you will always get cooked morsel. This method can also be used to cook rabbits immediately, from hopping critter to juicy roast by flick of a flame. Number 3. The Impenetrable Fossil peas can be cheap and effective all as long as you have the guts to travel the Earth's bowel. Still, it is rather limited resource and therefore I suggest you use them with trees, another decent barrier, just cannot be aligned closely to form a proper wall alone. Plant the trees and fill the gaps with fossil. This way you can make a sturdy wall against less destructive yet hostile mobs. There are many use for this wall, such as well-contained farm or a panic room. Let your ideas run wild and deprive freedom of nature for your capitalistic gain. Number 4. Incredible Wrap Bundling wrap has a unique characteristic of retaining the status of a certain item, which is why any perishables or unwilling animals packed with the bundling wrap never rot or die. Interestingly, this also applies to heat, so when you wrap a heated thermal stone, the stone will remain hot until unwrapped again. If you happen to keep dragonfly's larva as a pet that is adorable, useful, and quite dangerous, packing a larva tooth in bundling wrap will make your life much more convenient since it allows the larva to summon only when the tooth is unwrapped. In other words, only when you choose to. Number 5. Moonrush Despite few dangers it accompany, full moon is a wondrous event which brings a feast thanks to the moon base. Placing the staff on the base will trigger the full moon event bringing hounds and werepigs attempting to destroy the moon base along with your face. If you paid attention to my third tip, then fossils and trees will let you finish the rush with no trouble. However, if the feast is what you wish, then keep plugging and unplugging that moon hole, which at times will kill some of the mobs, quickly replaced by another. By the next sunrise, you will have fair amount of meat and pig skin at your disposal. Of course, this could also be one method to acquire large amounts of moon rocks. Number 6. Open Sesame At times, ruins and hamlet hide secret, which can be forcibly revealed through brute force of explosion. Instead such expensive and destructive method, I choose cheaper yet even more hazardous option, which is a simple swing at a supporting pillar. This causes a tremor through already explored areas of the ruins, causing every cracks to reveal a possible new path, and allowing you to further desecrate the ancient site. A quick announcement for a quick shout out to a channel called Jazzy's Games. If you enjoy well edited and straight to the point guide, along with several enjoyable playthroughs of new Hamlet beta, where you can actually see the gamer for once, this is the channel I recommend. Do pay a visit and show your support. In return, you also get to feel good about yourself. Link is in the description. And now, back to video. Number 7. Glowing Rodent Picos are cute despicable rodents known for their behavior to snatch anything on ground, which are often not theirs to take. During full moon or apocalypse, they turn rabid and their eyes start to glow, which of course is a very common symptom of rabies. Once captured and in your pocket, they will continue to emit small amount of light. Given that this happens during time without darkness, this tip is somewhat useless. However, Pico could pass as a light source in dark ruins lasting a couple of days or even longer if fed with cheap seeds. But best of all, once its use run out, you can snap its neck for food. Number 8. Tree Growth Boost Nature is beautiful but can sure be slow. What if you are in need of large amounts of wood in short time, 
or handful of birch nuts right before winter. In that case, all you need to do is plant the trees of your choice, wait for the sapling to grow into small trees, then leave the world to jump right back in. If you do so, there is a chance that the small trees you planted will have a growth spurt, ready to be chopped by your slaves. And that is the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and perhaps you'll leave like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. But I also support free will, so do as you please. In the end, I still have this trophy. So cheers!